Okay, so let me clean the artboard up and uh, type uh, gradient, gradient font. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. Um, I want to make it fairly big so you can see it better. And I think I'll change it to chunk 5. Okay, now I want to apply gradient to it. So this time I'll simply go down here and click this icon. That should apply gradient, right? Well, the interface changes, but I can't see any gradient applied to my text, so so what's wrong? Is my illustrator buggy? Do I need some magic spell to make it work? Well, none of those things. Illustrator, at least up until CS6, doesn't allow applying gradient to live font. Well, not in this way, at least. To apply gradient to live font, we need to, with the text selected, go to the appearance palette and choose Add New Fill. Now, if I apply Gradient, we can see that it works. Well, that's kind of peculiar, right? Well, but that's the way it works. Of course, everything we already learned about gradients can be applied here as well. So, as an example, I can make the gradient radial, I can add color stops, and give them different colors, uh, just like so. And, of course, since it's live font, I can change the text and still keep all the gradient information previously applied. Pretty cool, huh? Before we close this section, I want to show you another great effect. Well, one of the effects you can again apply from the appearance panel. But for that, I think it would be better if we had plain black text. So, I'll just give it a plain black look by simply pressing the comma key, uh, which will fill the text with a solid color. Now, again in the appearance panel, I'll select the fill and go down here to this effects symbol. If I click it, I'll get a whole list of effects I can apply, as we already know, and this time I want to go with pucker and bloat. Now, what it does is it will well, puckers or bloats an object, uh, depending on the value we set. So, if we bloat it, we'll get this sort of effect. And if we pucker it, we'll get a rock star or a tattoo font kind of effect. And again, it's live font, so we can retype it, change it, and still preserve the effects we applied. And sure, there is a lot more effects waiting for you to be discovered, so don't keep them waiting. Now, one last thing here, guys, before we move on. If you want to finish your design and set it out to the client or to the printers, and your design involves type, you can't forget to create outlines out of your text. Creating outlines simply means that you're changing the live font into paths, thus avoiding the problem when the client or the printer doesn't have the font that you used. And to do that, simply select the text, go to Type, Create Outlines, or even better, use the combination of Ctrl Shift O. Now the font is no longer editable, it simply behaves like any other object. So this wraps it up for the Type section. Hope you enjoyed it and learned a thing or two. Uh, this video actually wraps the whole Learning Illustrator part of the course up. In the next section, we will talk about the basics of logo design. Not so much about the process, but the principles that you need to know when working on a logo design project. So, see you in the next video.